Hi, I am here to talk to you today about a really awesome assessment tool called the Wheel of Life. And some of you may have used it before. For others, this could be a very new concept. And as a coach, I use this with my clients to help them determine where they need to put more attention in their life and how to achieve overall balance. And the Wheel of Life, I'm going to show you as I share my screen. This is what it looks like, and I will show you here. Okay, so this assessment tool is something that you can use often to really take some inventory in um, where you want to apply some additional attention in your life, as I said. So the Wheel of Life is divided up into eight categories. And as you can see from this uh, example, there's many on the internet. You can download a, a few different styles. This is the one that I like. And the reason I like this is because I think the categories are universal and probably uh, the ones that represent our priorities. So you can see that it's divided up into friends and family, significant other or your relationship, personal growth, fun and leisure, your environment, your home environment specifically, career, work, uh, business, whatever is in this career path for you, money or finances, your overall health. And so what this will do is raise your awareness to, again, where to put your attention so that you can live a more satisfying life. And it'll give you a closer definition of balance. So where I also find this to be extremely helpful is how it will clarify your goal setting. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're going to think for a few minutes about each area independently, individually. And so in the area of friends and family, um, and if you need to, and you're thinking, separate out into different categories, that's fine. Um, but I would like, what you're gonna do is I would like for you to rate how satisfied you feel in each area. And the way you'll do that is just draw a line across that particular segment. So what you'll do is imagine that the center is zero or not satisfied at all. And the outer area here is 10, which is very satisfied. So you're gonna rate exactly where you think you are in each of these categories. And you wanna take some reflection. You don't wanna overthink it because you want this to be very intuitive and come to um, assess it quickly so that you're not you know, making allowances and conditions and talking yourself into or out of something. Um, and so this is an opportunity for you to see where you might need to put some work into. And your level of satisfaction is based on what you're feeling at this moment. So as you go through each of these categories and rate your level of satisfaction, then you're gonna take a step back and look at the wheel as a whole. And you're going to probably ask a few questions if you wanna really make this a purposeful experience. Uh, and the first question I usually ask my clients is, are there any surprises here? Just to see if you're in alignment or if you've been in alignment and, and aware of where you need to put more time and energy in your life and you can work through whether or not there's any surprises. You, you wanna ask yourself how you feel about this uh, and just kind of take some inventory of your emotions. And you wanna see like, how do you currently spend your time in each of these areas? Where is there an opportunity for improvement or uh, adding some additional, um, you know, it, where can you add more value? And the next question I would ask myself is, Okay, so in the area of my health, I gave myself a six. Uh, and because I'm relatively healthy, yet um, I know that I need to lose weight or I wanna exercise more. So, so that, that's the part, that's the next part of your, your um, assessment is to then ask yourself, what would make it a 10, right? So that you can create a vision of where you need to go. And that's probably one of the most important things about coaching is that we help our clients take inventory of where they are now and then help them decide where they wanna be. And then we figure out how to bridge the gap. So you're doing that with this assessment. So as you go through and ask yourself in each of these areas, what would make it a 10? I would then suggest that you go back through and choose a, one goal, the one thing 
what is the one thing in the area of, okay, I'll use health again as the example, that would move me forward or that would make me get or help me get closer to a 10 uh, so that you can create one goal in each area. Now you can then go further and prioritize those goals and say, you know, I'm going to work on these two areas first because they are most important to me or I feel the most depleted in those areas. And perhaps you're going to put your attention just to the two at first. But remember, the goal here is to create some balance. So you want to make sure that you're not just driving in those two lanes and then ignoring everything else. So you may want to attach some type of a timestamp to that and say, okay, for the next week, I'm going to really work on health and I'm going to work on money. And then I'm going to bring into that plan, you know, my, my one thing goal for friends and family and significant other personal growth. And I would work through it that way. As you do, you know, as you do work through it, decide what your one thing goal is, you know, just ask yourself again, like, what's really important to me? Um, you know, what should I change first? Um, you know, what change do I want to make first? That would be another question that I would ask myself. And then the last question might be uh, to be prepared enough to say, okay, is there anything that could get in my way of this? Whether it's something in my mindset or something in my environment or something on my calendar or, or something about my behavior, uh, what, is there anything that could get in my way of this? Because the goal is to see change and the goal is to move forward and, and to take action. That's what this is really about. So this is the Wheel of Life. It is a tool to help you assess and to help you become aware of the areas of your life that need more time and attention. And it is in an effort to really live a broader, more balanced life. So I'm glad that I could share this with you. You can download this on um, lots of different places, but if you go to Facebook, and if you're a member of my Monday Morning Mojo group, which you can become a member if you're not yet, you'll find this in the file section. And also, if you want to go over to my other business page, which is Anna Gibbs um, Coach, um, you'll find Team Leader Coach Dream Activist is the name of that Facebook page. You'll also find it there. Uh, and of course, you can always reach out to me if you need anything. So I hope that you make some time to do this. It's a great exercise. Thanks so much. And I'll talk to you soon.